Good morning, Termina Khan is here in TK Maths 1. In today's video, I will explain to you a concept of resolving forces, um, resolving or resolving it parallel and perpendicular to the plane, or resolving it horizontally and vertically, right? So this question I have taken from November, 8, November 18, variant 4.3, question 1. And it is a syllabus of A-level mathematics M1 paper 4, code 9709. So on the top, you can see here two blog, uh, this blog address, tkmaths1.blogspot, and my website, tkmaths.com. Do visit it. You will find it useful. The website is still under development. As I uh, get suggestions, I'm developing it, improving it. And blog address has all my previously made videos. And it is very user friendly. You may find very useful videos which will help you to learn the concept. So let's begin with the question. Okay, so in this question, uh, information is that the mass of a smooth ring R is 0 0.2 kg. Okay, this is first piece of information. A string is inextensible. A string, so this is the assumption which is made always, most of the time. And the two ends of the string, so the string is basically A, R, B. Because of this mass, it has been, uh, it has taken this position, right? The two ends of the strings are attached to A and B. So here and here it is fixed. And this plane is making an angle of 45 degrees. So it is a sloping roof, right? Secondly, the force, which is P, applied at the ring horizontally in this direction, making an angle 70 with AR. And the section BR is perpendicular. So whatever is drawn here is explained here in the words. The system is in equilibrium. Okay. So all the forces which are in the opposite direction are equal to each other. And find the tension in the string and the value of P. So my string is basically this AR and rb so let's start solving it so i hope question is all clear okay so before i begin i would like to um, help you recall this concept when the triangle is drawn here suppose this is my tension t in the string and if i ask you what this component will be because we are resolving it horizontally and vertically or parallel or perpendicular to the plane right so whatever you are doing so the side opposite to the angle is called what hypotenuse times sine theta and the adjacent one is hypotenuse times cos theta now why it is so see here sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse so a over t so a is t sine theta so nobody writes this every time it's a prerequisite thing you understand so this side is t sine theta and this is t cos theta because of this reason because cos theta is d upon 2 or t adjacent over hypotenuse okay so let's begin because we will apply this concept now look at this diagram why did i write here t same symbol in both because the string is passing through the ring now this is very important concept in mechanics so please pay attention if the same string is passing through the ring then the tension on both sides is same and when there is a knot between the strings for example there is one block and one string is going here other is here then the tension is considered differently so we use different symbol i will solve more connected particle question and i will explain this concept so right now i have used the same symbol t so one force is tension here other is tension here and one is p which is here in this direction so we have to resolve all three and system is in equilibrium. So let's resolve this first. Now in this part, I have taken or resolving it horizontally and vertically, right? So pay attention. At the end, I will explain perpendicular and parallel to the plane also. Most of the time, students are used to of solving it perpendicular and parallel to the plane. So I want to explain both here. So let's resolve it horizontally and vertically. So I'm considering this force first tension t here right it is going from here to here so when i will resolve it it will be this horizontally and vertically now why this angle is 45 degree do you understand this 
if for example i extend this line for example okay so let me just do it to explain it to you so this angle will be 45 degree corresponding angle okay now if this is 45 degree and this hole is 90 then definitely this angle is 45 again okay so now we know let me raise this line black line again it may confuse us so this is how we got the angle 45 degree here now so this side which is opposite will be t sine 45 and this side will be t cos 45 t sine 45 t cos 45 i explained to you the reason here similarly this tension now i'm resolving this force horizontally and vertically so blue line only watch the blue line so it is going here and then here so now 70 degrees here so this adjacent side will be t cos 70 and this will be t sine 70. now this force p which is hidden behind the bl uh, blue line is actually only a, um, in line of horizontal so it is p newton i'm not resolving it vertically there is nothing so we have resolved forces and the weight of the ring will be acting downward which is 2 newton or 0 0.2 kg so here i have shown you the resolving horizontally and vertically of the forces in this diagram now because the system is in equilibrium so horizontal forces in opposite direction are balancing each other so let's see horizontal forces first so i have this red one which is pointing right left p and left t cos 70 so black and blue are left and this right so right equals to sum of left so that's why i've written p plus t cos 70 is equals to t cos 45 so t cos 45 is equals to p plus t cos 70 so this is what i have written horizontally here now vertically this is acting upward this is acting upward but this is acting downward so t sine 70 plus t sine 45 is equals to 2 newton right so this is how we are getting two equations and now we will solve them simultaneously to get the value of t and p so from this equation i have taken t common out so i got sine 70 plus sine 45 okay and then i'm taking this down simple algebra nothing else and then i use calculator to calculate the value um in three significant figure we give our final answer but i'm writing here in four decimal places because i will use it in the next part and we never use rounded off value then our next answer also get affected we do not get exact answer okay so now i will substitute the value of t in this equation to get the value of p okay and this equation i have gotten from where from here only okay right so i'm substituting the value of t here simple calculation and i got it okay again i have written in four decimal place and final answer in three significant figure now i have solved this question um solving it horizontally and vertically now my question to you if you have to solve it perpendicular and parallel to the plane what will you do you can put the video on pause and you can try it but i will continue here so that video is short <laughs> if somebody is not interested to try out and just wanted to see how so let's see so what you will do here this is my roof take a sloping roof so this is already perpendicular to it so i don't need to worry about this tension in this string here but in this string the tension if i resolve perpendicular and parallel to the plane so it will be this and this okay i'm first resolving i will write values later okay now i don't know this angle right now forget it right now now similarly this p if i resolve it perpendicular and parallel to the plane it will be like this okay and then this angle is equal to this angle right and how we will calculate this angle i'm leaving it to you simple apply trigonometric ratio and try to solve it yourself i'm not solving this question i'm leaving it for you as a challenge and then if you don't get it you can write in the comment then i'll continue this video so because i'm sure inshallah you will be able to do 
So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have learned and liked it, please press like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Take care. Allah Hafiz.